Hey there, Leo. I hope you guys are doing well. This is a reading for couples, or this could even be somebody that you're not in relationship with right now or in separation with. The main energy, though, is for couples in your in connection. Okay, so um, yeah, feel free to like, share, subscribe. These readings are timeless. Let's get into it. Show me the energy. Okay, that came out quick. <clears throat> your energy, Leo, you have the moon. So maybe some confusion around some situations in this connection. Maybe emotional confusion here for you. Show me Leo's partner. Okay. So you have the two of cups in reverse for their person, your person here. So, off the bat, <laughs> um, the energy between you and this person, Leo, um, it feels like there's some uncertainty between you and what a situation is, what it should be, where it is, where it's going, is what I'm picking up here right now. So, let's go ahead and pull some cards for you. Give me three cards for Leo. How does Leo see the situation? Yeah, you're the universe the world it can indicate endings it can indicate change in a situation so maybe there's a overhaul we'll see seven of swords It's falling on this two of cups. I'll put it over here for you, but this may <clears throat> this may be a situation where both of you are looking at each other going, I don't know if I should be in this. I don't know if I should do this. I don't know. What is the what is the factor here that holds us together? Okay, show me this person. Okay, well, they get three cards popping out all together, and so <sighs> that is what we're going to put out here. Is it in reverse? They're, they all came out in reverse. I'm going to keep them in reverse. You have the Eight of Wands, the Empress in reverse, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Energy between the two of you, the King of Wands. Okay, so with this person here, Leo, um, it feels like a breakdown in communication has occurred. Um, this person is not getting the type of energy that you once gave to them. Um, and I feel here that, like, this is something that they might be kind of giving up on. I don't know why you're, like... Because <sighs> the Seven of Swords is on your side. Like, I don't know if you created some sort of issue. Maybe this is you just kind of pulling your energy back completely. But either way, it's like we've got both parties with this kind of energy of like, should I stay or should I go? And the king, I know that this card says the knight of wands, but um, in this deck, knights are kings. Okay, so this is the king of wands here, the rock star. Um, for that energy to be between the two of you, it tells me that um, we are not, well... It tells me a few things. For some of you, this is a situation where it's like this person or one of you, somebody here. It's like the way that they deal in life is all eyes on me, attention towards me, you know, and maybe they need the attention towards themselves right now. What this also tells me, though, is we need to get back on the same page. If not, I need to, to hightail it out of here. The King of Wands shows up when they are ready to engage in something or ready to engage in whatever they want. And so maybe our pursuits need to be our own. Maybe we need to... Uh, this energy feels like it wants to separate, honestly. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna clarify for you guys because I'm not... Show me, um, show me the Seven of Swords for Leo. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Leo? You have the Queen of Cups in reverse for the Seven of Swords, Leo. Queen of Cups, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. I said you could be dealing with a Cancer, um, Pisces, potentially. 
Um, Seven of Swords and the Queen of Cups reverse is a highly manipulative energy. Highly manipulative energy. They prey upon the emotions. They prey upon the weaknesses. They know your little secret buttons and they press them slowly and intentionally over time. It's somebody who's very problematic in that regard. And this may have been emotional manipulation, emotional blackmail, emotional distress, um, somebody that also plays the victim, somebody who's like a covert narcissist type energy. And this is coming up on your side, Leo, but it doesn't have to be you. You may have been dealing with somebody like this. You may be stepping away from somebody like this. I already said somebody who needs it all to be about them, right? <sighs> Even at the bottom of the deck, though, you have the two of swords here coming out for that seven of swords and the queen of cups are reversed. It's like shutting off communication, stopping communication. <laughs> I even have another deck that I'm not even using. This is over at the table, but this is what it's, <laughs> this is the card that's upright. Um, ooh, bottom of this deck too, I will say. Sage of Orbs. Orbs are swords in this deck. So this is like a final point. This is like, okay, I need to say what I need to say and I need to do it with honesty, integrity, and so be it. That If that is the energy ruling you, it needs to be like s spoken rather than you internalizing it, rather than you worrying about it. You need to speak it, okay? So here we're not speaking. It's like everything's being held inside. Show me uh, the hangman. Why is the hangman here for, for Leo? You have the emperor. So we it's again falling on this card. The emperor here, though, this may be somebody who doesn't change or they don't see the opportunity here. It's like they, they are highly um, stubborn. They don't want to see things any other way than the way that they do things. That's a problem because if you're in a partnership with a person like that, you're not in a partnership. You're in a, you're, you're the captive audience, essentially, is what I want to say. Show me the world for Leo. Nine of Pentacles here in the world. You know, it's interesting. Um, to release this actually gives you a direction I don't know, like being in this connection here, Leo, it almost feels like you've kind of been directionless. Uh, you've been at the mercy of somebody. You've kind of been at somebody's like, you've been, you've been their beck and call girl um, is what I'm picking up. But with the nine of pentacles here, this redirects, if you choose to step away from this, you redirect your energy towards the things that make you whole towards your own satisfaction, your own financial stability, your own like resources, your own processing. Like, I feel like you've given a lot away here, Leo, to this person. And like, you, you're kind of like, I don't know if I can engage anymore. I don't know if I can be gaslit anymore. I don't know if I can deal with like these, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of frustrating energy. Um, can you show me the eight of sword, eight of wands in reverse for this person? Why is this person like caused this lack of communication? It's like all the lights are out with them. That's what it feels like. All the lights are out with them. Five of swords in reverse. It's like, it's like doing some crazy shit or like being problematic, getting called out on it and then not communicating. It's like... All the, the cat's out of the bag, but it's like, now I'm not going to communicate. I'm not going to... It's really childish, honestly, is what I want to say. When it's like the opportunity could have been so much more. It's like this person doesn't want to get called out. And so when they do get called out, they shut down. And then they hold the whole situation hostage. You're dealing with somebody who's like problematic, Leo. Show me the Empress in reverse. Empress in reverse is somebody who, like, they give the impression of, um, like, they have so much to give, and they're so empathetic, and they care so, so much, but then it's like, they don't. They don't, and they steer you in, in negative ways. They're somebody who is reactive. 
you know, because they can't give it to themselves. It's like somebody throwing up airs trying to say, oh, yes, of course I love you. Oh, yes, I am the best partner for you. Oh, this is how I am in my real life. But then in real life, this is like, oh, no, that's not how you are. You're a manipulative turd. The world comes out with the empress here. So I feel you and the universe or whomever this is, <laughs> The universe, you have the world over here. This is the universe. Um, it's saying, enough, enough. This is unfair. Enough, enough, enough. Like, if you, it's like that forced tower moment. Like, if you don't take this out of your life, we will. And, and it has to get pretty bad for that to happen, Leo. Yeah, even at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Wands. Like, this is an uphill battle having dealt with this person. Or maybe they think that about you. Who knows? These readings can go either way. If you're a cross-watcher and I'm explaining the, the Leo that you've been dealing with, I'm sorry. Ace of Cups here with the Five of Pentacles. So I feel either one of you, this is about healing, but it's a personal healing. It's a personal journey of healing here with the Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This can also be healing finances. Um, I, 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 give me one more over here. Thank you. What is the energy of this person moving forward? You receive some communication from them or like communication will pick up with them. But, like, it's still, they come with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You have it upright. It's still for something. They still are trying to get something from you. Eh. I almost see this Ace of Cups as, like, an olive branch. But it's not real. It's like a mirage is what I'm getting. You'll see through it, Leo. You'll see through it. This person tries to give an olive branch to make it better, but what they really want is resources or your time or your energy, your finance, your money, your love, your attention. This person is out of whack. Yeah, even with all of that, this is at the bottom of the deck for those two, the devil. And this is very self-serving energy here, Leo. Um... Can we, can we show me something? I, 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 show me the, the, okay. Yeah, with the knight, with the king of wands, you have the page of pentacles in reverse. There's no longevity here. If anything, you're going to get uh, lip service. If anything, you're going to get lip service because that is the bandwidth that this person has. I feel you're dealing with a highly self-involved person, Leo, that is... very problematic to you because they see you as more of like a a dispenser of sorts like a pez dispenser like you know they come and they press the button and they get what they want from you and then they put you back when they are done it just seems like a repeat cycle here <sighs> be mindful of the energy you give to this okay is there anything that can help leo any information that can help leo yeah Run, <laughs> run, run. The two of wands and the ten of wands. You dealt with this, Leo. Like you don't, you have other options, other directions you can put your efforts and energy towards where you'll be seen and considered by other people. Like you don't have to give with this. You don't have to give to this. You don't have to deal with somebody like this. Like in the fact that, or the fact for tarot, but in the way this storyline goes, it's like if this person is just reaching out to you for more resource, like cut, cut your losses, my friend, cut your losses. So that's what I have for you. No more emotional confusion, like be mindful. Okay. And if this is you being problematic, Leo, get your shit together. I love you guys. Bye.